this question for me. I drive my cars every day, every day, and I cruise every weekend. Seriously, I'm just driving around, whether it's the VET or the Q or the Z. I'm always driving around. Nobody ever wants to race me. You see all these racing videos on YouTube. Everybody's out there racing, just rolling down the road, and somebody pulls up and downshifts or revs next to them, and a race ensues. No one has ever done that to me. I've had people come by and say, rev it, rev it, which of course I do, but no one has ever done three honks. I used to say driving the Q that people just assumed it was a 60 year old woman driving the car because that's who drives Q50s. But you know, mine looked fast at least, a little, it looked a little fast, but nobody ever wanted to race. So. I don't know. Where are people finding all these races at? Well, I'm not a street racer. I stopped doing that kind of stuff when I got into my you know, early 20s. And also, we moved to an area that was much more heavily populated than southern Minnesota. A lot of flat, straight, wide open country roads in southern Minnesota that kind of allowed for that kind of stuff sparsely populated, not a large police presence, not a large people presence, so really the only people you were worried about injuring when you were racing were yourselves, and that was a little more acceptable. But it would still be fun to have somebody roll up to you and want to race and acknowledge the fact that you're driving a cool car. Well, I gotta be honest with you guys, there aren't many things that I dislike about this C6 Grand Sport. It's, it's actually pretty tough to come up with a decent list, but I got a few things that come to the top of my mind that I just sort of, they're just kind of weird to me and I wish maybe were a little bit different. Um, but. Nothing serious, I'll give you that. First thing, number one thing is that is the display. When you turn, when you make adjustments to your traction control, whether you turn it into competition mode or you turn traction control off or turn all the nannies off, whatever the case may be, it displays it on your display and it stays there. Like it's it's not necessary. I know I turned traction control off. You got the little symbol in the dash now. How about just flash up, traction control off, and then go away? And I say that because I like to watch my oil pressures or my oil temps, or I like to watch my fuel mileage, for example. But I shut traction control off, and then it just stays there. So then I got to go back to the menu and turn it on. It's not that big of a deal, but I just don't, I just don't see the point of leaving it on. Maybe it's because Chevrolet was afraid people were gonna forget they turned traction control off and get a little wild. I don't know. But the other thing is, why do you gotta hold? the button so long to turn traction control completely off. It just seems a little bit weird. I can't even do a burnout today or whip a shitty because I got a drink in my cup holder. Damn it. The other thing that I dislike, and this actually is a dislike to me, is how noisy the target tops are done the fix, you know, I'm, I've moistened up the, the gaskets or the, the seals and I've oiled the, the connection points or greased them. It worked for a while and then it kind of wears out, but it's just, it's just kind of obnoxious. But to be honest, I've gotten used to it and I sort of don't pay attention to it anymore, but anytime you take somebody for a ride in the car, like, oh, what's up, what's that? And then you got to explain, oh, it's a Corvette and the target tops and they always, ugh. Another thing I don't like about the C6 Grand Sport, and this one actually is kind of a, a bigger deal. Not that I would use it a lot, but the launch control in competition mode is like set to like 4,500 RPM. As far as I know, you can't adjust that. Maybe you can if you're tuned, or maybe if you put one of those throttle controller module adjustment uh, two-step, whatever the hell that, maybe you can adjust it that way. But just in factory form, launch control is like 4,500. To me, that's insane, especially if you have good gripping tires. Like. I, I don't need to launch at 4,500 RPM anywhere on the street, but it'd be nice to have, be able to adjust it and set it to like 3,000 or something like that. Just something a little more tame, a little more mild. I mean, it's a 
10 year old car, 12 year old car. I'd hate to have really good grip to launch at 4,500 RPM and just destroy everything. Come on, we're going, we're going, we're going. I think we made it. Verbals are wicked today. thing about the C6 Grand Sport that I don't like and if you guys have been following along you'll know this is the cup holders. Now of course every decent sports car is notorious for this for having really poorly designed cup holders because you should be carrying drinks in your car anyway and honestly that's how I feel. I keep my cup holder closed. I don't like it when people bring drinks in. I'll grab a drink on my way to work sometimes from the gas station but other than that I don't like shit in the car at all period. So it's not that big of a deal to me but you know I get sent on a Saturday morning for a coffee run to Starbucks or Dunkin and of course I'm gonna take the vet but where do I put the cups because they're all they don't fit they don't even fit even small even the size small they don't fit in the cup holders properly you can only have one in at any given time and that's uh, that's that sucks but like I said no big deal because I hate carrying drinks in the car anyways I'll tell you one more thing. This this actually does bother me because I just don't get it. I mean, you make a nice looking wide body sports car like this, the Grand Sport, it's just, it's so beefy. You got those fat ass 12 inch wheels on the rear, uh, you know, 275s in front, three, what are they, 325s in the rear? That's insane, but they're all sunken in. Why can't we get some flush fitment in a Grand Sport for crying out loud? If you're gonna have that wide of a wheel, let's have a little bit deeper offset, right? A little more aggressive offset to push that, that face of the wheel out a little bit more uh, in the quarter and the fender. It just, that don't make any damn sense to me. Why you gotta have it so sunken in? Even, even just like, it could go out like an inch in the rear and like a half an inch in the front and it would look money with these Grand Sport wheels. It would look so good. You wouldn't have to change anything. The last thing. The last thing that I really dislike about the C6 Grand Sport is that it sounds so damn good, it's impossible to get good gas mileage. <laughs> 